Hi, I'm Josh from eSpares. If you find that your dishwasher is stopping during a cycle and filling with dirty water, there's probably a good chance that you've developed a fault with the drain pump. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the drain pump on your dishwasher. Now in this video, I'm using a Garenia GV6210, which is an integrated appliance, um, but the process should be pretty much the same for most types of dishwasher. Now safety first, Make sure you've unplugged your dishwasher from the mains and also disconnect the supply hose from both the water supply and from the dishwasher itself. And this is to stop the hose from becoming damaged while we move the dishwasher around. Now the things you're gonna need for this are a crosshead and a flathead screwdriver and your replacement drain pump. Now to access the drain pump, we need to get to the base plate, which is on the bottom underneath the dishwasher. So to do this, I'm going to lean the dishwasher back and lay it on its back. Now obviously, if your dishwasher is quite heavy, you might want an extra pair of hands just to help you lower it down to the floor. Okay, so now the dishwasher's on its back, I need to unscrew these four screws here. And once I've done that, I can just pull the base plate off. Now, these two legs um, will come off uh, with the base plate, but these two at the bottom will stay attached to the dishwasher. However, for your own particular appliance, it might be the case that you'll need to unscrew all the legs before removing the base plate. Okay, so now I've removed the four screws, uh, the base plate should be able to just be lifted off. Now it's very important when you do take the base plate off not to uh, press too hard on any of the metal edges because they're very sharp and you can cut yourself very easily on them. Um, and the other thing to bear in mind is that virtually all dishwashers have an anti-flood sensor on the bottom of the base plate. And this is both screwed on and attached with electrical connections. Now you'll need to remove that sensor in order to fully remove the base plate. Um, you can either unscrew the sensor or well, you can take a photo of the electrical connections to remind yourself of what they are and then remove those instead. Okay, so now I've removed the base plate. We can see the drain pump here underneath. Now, if I take a look at the pump we're replacing it with, you can see that it's going to be screwed in here and also here round the back on the other side. Now do check as well with your replacement pump that it comes supplied with this rubber seal. Um, if it doesn't, you'll probably need to take the seal off the old pump and transfer it onto the new one. Now once I've unscrewed these two screws here, I'm going to disconnect the electrical connectors from the terminals before finally twisting the pump off the lugs at which point I can replace it with the new one. Okay, so now I've got the new pump back in. I just need to screw it in place and reattach the electrical connectors to the terminals. Okay, so now that's done, I can put the base plate back in position and reattach the anti-flood sensor on the bottom. So there we go, one new drain pump fitted. You can find the pump along with spares for Garenia and other dishwasher manufacturers on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>